welcome back everybody this is easy this is the introduction to clash of clans this is one of our last videos in the series this is the on wall breaker fails that end raids and this may be a, an odd topic to a lot of you but anyone that's been playing a long time you guys know how important the wall breakers are and how it can end up being a monumental fail if you, if you have a wall breaker fail so we'll go over a couple of different uh, we're gonna watch a couple of fails but we'll go over a couple of different strategies to try to help you not do this. It's um, This is one of those things where you don't really expect it, but it happens. Um, a wall breaker fail, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, is when you try to put your wall breakers in to bust a hole open to get into the base. They fail, they get hit by a defense, and then, you, not, then your troops go around the outside. And then instead of getting into the base and start your attack properly, you have troops going around the outside getting slaughtered. And, um, and they may get into the base somewhere else, but the timing is off, the attack is off. If you sit there and strategize for an, an attack in war for half an hour, an hour, and then you have a wall breaker fail, the whole attack is completely different than what you planned, and it's just a mess. So in this first video, this was the boss. He's, he's one of the guys in our, our feeder clan, da uh, Sons of Damage. He had put a couple of wall breakers in the corner, and what had happened was he had put a couple in to start off with, and they weren't strong enough to get through the walls. And then when you put the next set in, they got hit by uh, either a mortar shell or a wizard tower. So first thing, first point is you have to be careful of where you put your wall breakers. If you try to uh, drop them in and have them run up to a wall next to a wizard tower or a bomb tower, that they won't get through it. The wizard towers do splash damage and they will take out every one of the wall breakers before they go off. If you put in 20 wall breakers at one time, one wizard tower can take out all 20. If you put a if you put a, a troop in to distract, which is what you're gonna have to do, and you put the let's say a giant in, which is probably your best troop to put in to distract, and you put the wall breakers in too close to the giant and it's a wizard tower there, the wizard tower will hit the giant and the wall breakers at the same time, and you'll still have a fail. So, first point is be careful where you put the wall breakers into the into the attack. You have to be mindful of what defenses are on the wall and, and uh, and what kind of damage that the defenses do. Any defense that does splash damage like a bomb tower, like a wizard tower, can kill everything at once. You also have to be mindful of your mortars that are raining down on you from the second or third layer and you have to time your wall breakers to where you're not going to have a mortar shell fall on your head just as they're running up to the base. So uh, th this can get tricky if you have to run a long way into the walls, like if they have a bunch of trash buildings on the outside and you have to run a long ways. So th there is uh, some strategy involved. Um, my advice is to always use a troop to distract and make sure you put the troop to distract in, in a place where, where the wall that you want to put the wall breakers on, whatever defenses will aim at the giant or whatever troop it is and not the wall breakers, but don't put it so close to where they can hit them both anyway. Now in this mode here, this is Genghis Kev attacking, he's a fantastic player. Um, and he wanted me to play this video because of what happened. Th this this attack should have been a simp uh, an easy two star, maybe a three. And he just started off with those wall breakers that, that he put a, he put a golem in, but he didn't time it quite right because the mortar was so close, and the wall breakers had to run too far. Yeah, he mistimed it. The mortar took out the uh, wall breakers, and then all the troops he put in after, instead of going into that top right hand corner, entering the base and going right straight towards Town Hall and, and the Inferno Towers, um, he ended up having 12, 13 Valkyries run around the outside. So does he get a star in the attack? Sure. Um, does he take Town Hall and two star and potentially three star the base? No. All because of one small little mistimed, miscalculated troop, which is the Wall Breaker. So for those of you don't, that don't know, wall breakers are huge troops. Um, a lot of people will wait to, to uh, upgrade them. A lot of people um, don't really know the importance of the wall breakers. They're extremely important in all ground attacks. But you have to be careful and you have to shelter them by putting other troops in, in front of them to distract the defenses. So this is going to be a short video. Uh, I, I know we don't have to focus on everything too, too much, but I just wanted to touch base on this one because this is a really big um, a mistake a lot of people make. And just another part of your planning that you have to um, take into consideration. So, appreciate everyone watching. Thanks for staying to the end. Sub to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, like the video. And until next time, this has been easy. Everyone take care.